We're here at Dow Rent Zone, Daddy Doe for our Dow Rent Zone Athlete of the Week. Today we have Spike 22 Jiu Jitsu competitor Mika Sinicholas, and here to present her with a check is Mona. Mona? Hi, Ms. Mika, on behalf of Dial Rent to Own, we would like to present to you this check. Uh, congratulations on being our Dial Rent to Own Athlete of the Week. Who would you like to present this check to? Uh, I'll be donating this check to the uh, Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation. Okay, Mika, you recently took home a gold medal competing in Japan. Uh, can you just tell us how the tournament went for you and uh, how many fights did you have back there? Uh, the, the tournament was the Asian Open Championship um, in Japan, and it was really stressful. It was I was so nervous the whole time. Uh, I fought two matches. My first match, I fought against uh, Michiko Takahashi, and um, she she did really well against me. I I swept her once. I got mount a few times. Uh, eventually, it was about I think 20-0, 20, 20 points to zero, and then um, about a minute left in, I submitted her with an armbar. Uh, the second match, I forgot her name, but um, she gave me a run for my money. Uh, I actually got caught in her guard, but I eventually passed it. And while I was passing, I think I, I actually broke her finger. So I, I got, it was 2-0, and then I broke her finger, and then we had to stop the match. So I eventually won. <laughs> okay, let, you're, you're fairly new to the sport. Yeah. Uh, tell us how you got involved with the whole jiu-jitsu scene. Um, well, actually, I, I've always kind of been uh, surrounded by it and interested in it since I was in high school because my brother Ken, he's the PXC uh, promoter, and um, he too is a, a blue belt in jiu-jitsu, and then my cousin Justin, who's a purple, and it's always just kind of been in my family. So uh, I came back from college a year ago, uh, started working out at Spike 22, and they just asked, hey, you want to join jiu-jitsu? So I was like, sure, why not? And here I am. All right, what's next for you in the near future as far as the sport? Oh, our team definitely wants to compete again off island. Uh, there's so many opens we can go to. Uh, European Open is a big one we want to do. Uh, London Open, um, Asian Open again. Uh, we'd like to compete in the Philippines too for the Pan Asia. Um, yeah, and then I guess obviously the ones on island too. I think they have some coming up soon. So we'd like to participate in those. All right, congratulations. Stay tuned to our next Dow Rent Zone Athlete of the Week. KUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... Let me run through your Guam National Youth Football Federation Championship schedule for this Sunday at the Ukudu High School football field in the Munha game. The undefeated Saints at 9-0 take on the 8-1 Angels at 10-30 in the first game of the day. In the Mecca game, the Raiders, who are also undefeated at 8 wins, no losses, and one tie, take on the Saints, who are 5-3-1. And, and in the last game of the day, the Matua boys take to the field at 2-30. The undefeated Giants will take on the Angels, who enter the game at 6-3. That's this Sunday at the Ukudu Field. All right, turning to some running news. Make sure to show your support for the KUM Care Force annual trick-or-treat 2K and 5K family fun run walk on Saturday, October 27th. There will be a costume contest and awards for the top finishers in each division. Showtime is at 5.15 with go time set for 6 at the Mega Lot of AK Toyota. Advanced registration is only $6 per person or $20 for a family of four. Race day registration will go up to $10 per person. You can register at KUAM and Harmon or Hornet Sporting Goods or visit our website at KUAM.com slash promotions to download the application. The KUAM Care Force annual trick or treat 2K and 5K will benefit the Special Olympics Guam. For more information, call Betty Ann Guerrero at 635-5836. Let's take a look now at your NFL schedule for this Monday. We start things off with a doubleheader on CBS. At 2 in the morning, it's the NFL Today. At 3, you can catch the Baltimore Ravens take on the Houston Texans. Then at 6.30, it's the New York Jets taking on the New England Patriots. Keep a lock to the stations of KUAM and catch some NFL on NBC. At 9 in the morning, it's football night in America. Then at 10, it's the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Keeping with football, today's game, it was the 49ers picking up the 13-6 win over the Seattle Seahawks. That's it for sports. We're back right after this.